I am about to expose the biggest secrets of Disney World dining, so get ready to learn about these restaurants' most hidden menu items here on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today I'm taking you to a top secret hush hush side of Disney World that very few guests get to experience or even know about. So without further ado, welcome to the wonderful world of Disney's secret menu items. Now here's the thing about secret menu items. One, you're gonna have to know how to ask for them because they won't always be featured on the menus. Two, you're gonna have to know when to ask for them because they may not always be available. Three, even if you do ask for them at the right time, they still could be unavailable because they're elusive like that. And four, it never hurts to ask about the secret menus of restaurants. Even if something we talk about today is no longer being featured as a secret menu option, a cast member could point you toward another new secret menu item instead. Because five, these secret menus are constantly changing and evolving, so you never know what you might accidentally stumble on next. The items we're listing today are things we've had fairly recently that you might be able to experience too during your upcoming trip. So let's start by exposing the most secretive and mysterious restaurants in all of Magic Kingdom. And this particular particular one tends to have some super tasty hidden eats. We're going first to Skipper Canteen. This is a pretty reliable restaurant for secret menu items. Despite Skipper Canteen being a super mysterious table service restaurant, ordering from their occasionally extensive menu of hidden eats and drinks may not be as difficult as you think. Skipper Canteen is a Jungle Cruise themed restaurant located in the Adventureland section of Magic Kingdom. And because it is a restaurant shrouded in secret society lore, you can expect to find lots of sneaky Easter eggs in here. Through the decor on the walls, books on the shelves, and pictures in their frames. But the mysteries don't stop there. Along with an extensive menu of unique eats, Skipper Canteen also can give you hidden menu options that you're not going to find mixed in with the regular listings. Now, we've seen these secret eats be handled two different ways. Sometimes you'll have to ask directly about what items are currently available on the secret menu. You're going to have to ask your skipper, your jungle cruise skipper, your server. Or sometimes your server will just flat out tell you, making it not so secretive, but hey, we appreciate the reminder nonetheless. Last time we ate here, we were able to order the off-menu Pau de Queijo, which are these Brazilian cheese bread bites that come with a side of chimichurri cream cheese. Honestly, though, these fluffy little things don't need the cream cheese to be absolutely addicting. Fun fact, you can actually get the Pau de Queijo from the Brazil food booth during Epcot's Food and Wine Festival but it's nice to know it's available somewhere else year-round since it's usually one of our favorite items to pick up during the festival. In the past, we've also been able to order items like the pork satay skewers, which was like a grilled pork and a soy ginger sauce alongside lettuce, carrots, and pickled onion slaw. Sometimes these skewers are chicken, by the way. Now, if this one's available during your next visit, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of nice tender meat with that sweeter bit of flavor. I also, by the way, I use the little cheese bread to make little tiny mini sliders with these two secret menu items. I don't know. It's just, what can I say? And then there are the cocktails that have popped up time and again on the Hush Hush menu. There's the Kungaloosh beer at Skipper Canteen. Sometimes the Kungaloosh is only available in Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom Lodge. The Cerulean Blue Sangria, the Passion Fruit Sangria, and the Frosty Pineapple Drink. While the Sangrias and Pineapple Drink are fruity, we're happy to report they're not overpoweringly sweet. They are both pretty nice, refreshing adult beverages, nice options for a hot day in Magic Kingdom. And the Kungaloosh beer is that spiced excursion ale that you'll you'll find on Tap at Nomad Lounge. All right, ready to learn the way to spice up a traditional Magic Kingdom snack that only a few people know about? Then you're gonna need to stick around Adventureland a bit longer. Let's go to the spring roll wagon. And I'm gonna tell you how you can add even more flavor to any spring roll you order at the spring roll wagon. Last spring, when we were swinging by this unassuming red snack cart located at the Adventureland entrance, a cast member told us about a new spring roll dipping sauce, a mayo aioli that you can pair with any spring roll combo you decide on. Now this was very savory with little pickle pieces, giving it a salty crunch and worked perfectly with those cheeseburger spring rolls, but not so much the pepperoni spring rolls. So this sauce doesn't pair well with all the different rolls, but that doesn't mean you can't try it with any that you order. Keep in mind that A, the spring roll cart switches up its offerings often, so don't be surprised if you see two completely different spring roll flavors during your visit. We've also seen those 50th anniversary pastrami spring rolls and the buffalo chicken option too. And the spring roll cart may not be open during your visit since it tends to go dark during slower times of the year, but if you do see it open, jump in line. These snacks are popular and do go quickly, so you might need to be waiting around for new ones to come from the kitchen. Now, quick note, if you are seeing the cheeseburger spring rolls on the menu, this mayo aioli may be included on the menu, but if you don't see it, they may still have it for you to add on to your order. 
All right, let's look into a Magic Kingdom restaurant that taught us to search for secret menu items virtually. Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. It isn't always our go-to spot for top-tier Disney World eats, but I'm gonna show you how it taught us to find secret menu mobile order offerings that have treated us well over the years. A while back, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe started offering specialty items from its mobile order in a secret menu section that you could only access through the My Disney Experience app. Though we've seen these secret menu offerings switch up frequently, one of our past favorite items were the Galaxy Loaded Fries, topped with bacon, pico relish, garlic ranch sauce, cheese sauce, and flaming hot Cheeto dust. Disney really had a thing for Cheeto dust there for a while. We found it on top of everything. The Galaxy Loaded Fries may not be available when you're there, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. Still check Cosmic Ray's mobile order menu and other mobile order menus, honestly, to see if any other super secret menu items have popped up out of the blue. And here's the real kicker for you. Cosmic Ray's isn't the only Disney restaurant that has secret menu offerings. I'm gonna talk about a few others later on. So whenever you plan on mobile ordering, from a Disney restaurant, double check the whole menu just to see if there's any mobile order specialty items you may be able to find. Cause you never know what you might accidentally come across that sounds really, really good and maybe potentially covered in Cheeto dust. Also, by the way, they are pretty good with updating mobile order. So here's a little tip from our reporters in the parks. If you wanna know if something is on the menu, like a particular seasonal menu item, something that comes and goes regularly, like maybe that citrus swirl over there at Sunshine Tree Terrace, check the mobile order menu before you go to the restaurant because if it's not there, it's not gonna be at the restaurant. All right, next on our list, time to step out of the Magic Kingdom into our favorite food park that you don't need a ticket to experience. We're going to Disney Springs. They've got the best food there. And we're going to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar first. Disney Springs is a treasure trove of hidden treats and drinks, but I'm gonna start with the bar that we've had the most secret menu item success with in the past, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Much like Skipper Canteen, Jock Lindsay's is a place with a lot of adventure-driven decor and theming. It's also very mysterious. And why wouldn't it be? It's all themed around Indiana Jones and his pilot the Jock Lindsay himself and their journey towards tracking down one of the biggest secrets of all time, the location of the Fountain of Youth. Now, don't think our famous explorer friends have unearthed that mystery just yet, but they have provided us with some mighty fine cocktails. One, which is in fact named after the elusive fountain itself. But what we're focused on today are those four specialty cocktails we've ordered in the past that you're not gonna find on the main menu. First, there's the Lucky Lindy, which is a pretty pink floral drink that tastes strongly of hibiscus and Jameson. Next, we've got the Bully Mammoth that actually has the best flavors of the secret four in our opinion, along with the mandarin vodka to give it a nice citrusy taste. You've got a sweet minty tea mixed in there. And no, it's not like mixing orange juice and toothpaste. Both flavors are subtle enough that they work together to make something fresh and interesting. Then you've got the Starry Night Mojito. Not much to say about this one. It's just a typical mojito with a special star African rum, but you know, it's still a mighty fine mojito. So if you like those, you'll probably like this one too. Finally, there's the oxygen tank. This one still baffles me. It's a lemonade with watermelon vodka that happens to taste just like cotton candy? How? I don't know. The math doesn't add up, but if you're wanting a super sweet and super secretive cocktail, then there you go. Don't go forgetting the names of these cocktails now, because if you want one, you'll have to order them specifically by their names. Indies orders. Now, another special sort of secret tip for Jock Lindsay's, during the holiday season, it becomes Jock Lindsay's holiday bar. And they're gonna have a bunch of menu items that are holiday themed. So be prepared for that. And don't forget to set aside some time in your trip to head over there for those holiday treats. All right, next section of secret menu items is way more complicated than just knowing the name of what you wanna order. Not only that, some of these secret menu items may only be available for mere hours before they're gone. If you've ever wanted to order a secret menu item from Gideon's Bakehouse in Disney Springs, I'm gonna tell you how it's done. But full disclosure, it really has to do with timing on your visit, as well as being in line at just the right time. You're gonna see what I mean. Every once in a while, Gideon's Bakehouse will throw an announcement up on their social media pages, letting everyone know it's secret slice day. There are a handful of reasons that these secret cake slices come to be. And while some are more purposeful than others, many of these secret slices come into existence simply because the bakery was experimenting with some different flavor combos, which means these secret slices may never be available again once they're all sold out. So this is how you get them if you hear about them. When a secret slice is announced, you'll have to go to Gideon's most recent social media post or story to learn the secret code. The code will change each time a new secret slice is revealed, so you'll have to keep tabs on the social media pages to find out 
out those sweet, sweet hidden words that you need to say to a Gideon's cast member to grant you the not so forbidden fruit lurking within Gideon's chamber. Remember, Gideon's Bakehouse is the most popular spot in Disney Springs. So if you're around the area on a day when a secret slice just so happens to be on the menu, you want to grab your spot in their virtual queue ASAP. The virtual queue can be accessed through a QR code located near the Bakehouse's entrance. A Gideon's cast member can help you get all set up if you're having any trouble tracking it down. And even if you aren't able to grab a secret slice here, that doesn't mean you can't order exclusive Gideon's goodies. Gideon's Bakehouse switches up their specialty menu of limited time seasonal flavors each month for cookies and cakes that you won't even need a secret code for. Gideon's also offers up specialty offerings like hot cookie hour between 2 and 3 p.m. and 7 and 8 p.m. daily where you can grab a fresh Gideon's cookie with a locally made malt vanilla ice cream scoop on top and weekend only exclusive treats like the caramel spice snack cakes they featured not too terribly long ago for the Halloween season. Be sure to keep an eye out for those secret menu items. Now one of my favorites though is a dark coffee cake cookie that's only available from sunset to sell out. That's right, check the sunset time because that's the only time that day it's gonna be available. Yep, there's a reason this place is so popular. You never know what you might find each time you visit. And now for some mobile ordering secret menu fun. Deluxe Burger. Want to know how to get a rare deluxe burger from Disney Springs? It's time to, once again, turn to the My Disney Experience app. Much like Cosmic Rays, Deluxe also had their fair share of secret menu items in the past that you could only order through mobile order. Previously, we've been able to get underground items here like the bacon and blue burger made with bacon, blue cheese, onion jam, lettuce and tomato, the chicken nuggets made with a donut breading, and a BLT sandwich, which is exactly what you think it'd be, bacon, lettuce and tomato. Though there aren't currently any secret menu offerings available here, per the release of this video, we have been seeing quite a few limited time offerings appearing consistently over at Deluxe that you might want to give a try. Most recently, we've been able to order the Tripletta Burger, which is made with black forest ham, pork belly, Swiss lettuce, tomato, fried potato sticks, and mayo ketchup. We've also seen the Pizza Burger pop up on the mobile order secret menu. And stay tuned to Deluxe Burger during specialty events in Disney Springs. The several of these happen each year, and they will usually introduce a new menu item for those. All right, let's move on from secret menu items to secret menu pairings. We're gonna head over to Paddlefish in Disney Springs. And we're gonna talk about how some Disney World restaurants can have secret menu combos that could save you money. At the beginning of this year, we ate at Paddlefish in Disney Springs, which is not our favorite seafood restaurant on Disney property, but hey, it's got a beautiful view. One of the main reasons that prompted our visit was because we'd heard about a sneaky and secret Paddlefish lunch menu, and we got to order from it. This lunch menu was only available between 12 and 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday and featured three different pairings. The burger, aka a nine ounce proprietary blend patty with house-made pickles, red onion, pimento cheese, and a brioche bun, paired with the paddlefish lager for 25 bucks, the stuffed cod with a glass of Sauvignon Blanc for 38, and for the kids, the kids cheeseburger with a strawberry basil lemonade for 12. So did these lunch combos really save us any money by ordering them? Well, usually the burger is $20 on its own, while the stuffed cod is $37. Beers on draft are going to cost you $9, while a glass of Sauvignon Blanc will cost up to $13. So yes, if this is the exact sort of meal combo you're looking for, it would save you money, especially considering this pairing also comes with your choice of side. These offerings aren't always available at Paddlefish, but it's worth asking your server about. And even if it is available, you'll still have to ask your server about it to access the secret menu in the first place, since they keep it well under wraps and won't bring it to you unless it's requested. Now let's talk really quickly about happy hour deals because that paddlefish situation is very happy hour-esque, right? And happy hour deals are sometimes places where they can hide those secret menu items. And what's great about Disney Springs is there are a lot of happy hours going on here, but they're not advertised a whole lot unless you're looking at our 2022 DFB Guide to Walt Disney World Dining from the DFB Store website where we expose them all. Turns out there are a plethora of happy hour offerings around the Disney Springs area that'll help you save money on some drinks and appetizers. Here are a few of our favorite ones. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar has a happy hour from noon to 3 p.m. You can get six and seven dollar wine, six and seven dollar draft beers, and eight dollars or less for appetizers. Raglan Road at the outdoor bar only on Monday through Friday between 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can order five dollar domestic draft beer and premium well liquors. Paradiso 37 has five dollar margaritas all day long at the Paradiso Bar, and you've got Coors Light and Tecate that are five dollars as well. So yeah, there are lots where those came from. Lots of happy hour hour deals and happy hour secret deals that happen over there in Disney Springs. Head over to dfbstore.com, check out that DFB guide. We've got them all in there. 
Now, some Disney secret menu items are a bit more obvious than others. You just have to remember to keep your eyes peeled, like for this next offering. By the way, I hate the visual of peeled eyes. Don't you? Okay, me too. All right, so sprinkles are headed for cupcakes. How can you get limited time cupcakes that are not featured on the sprinkles official menu? Easy, just go inside the store. I know, I know, that's not nearly as fun as ordering from this bakery's pink cupcake ATM machine. Yep, you heard me, cupcake ATM, it's a thing, and it's available even after the store closes for the day. But that's beside the point. The point here is that in order to get an off the menu cupcake, you'll need to take a peek inside the sprinkles bakery case. Every now and then, one of the cupcake options will be labeled as an off the menu specialty. And when you see that, you'll know you've hit the hidden item jackpot. And now let's head to a hidden menu in an underrated restaurant inside Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Animal Kingdom and I am not gonna be apologetic about it. We're going to Restaurantosaurus, but specifically the Restaurantosaurus Lounge. Hey, you didn't know that existed, right? Right. Restaurantosaurus in Dinoland USA has a pretty typical spread of items in a pretty non-typical setting. It's kind of like Skipper Canteen setup in a way. Very kitschy, punny decor with a bigger underlying story behind it all. As the lore goes, this is actually the home base of a group of paleontology students. But while you're busy discovering all the fun additions and details that build the atmosphere here, you can also discover a second part of this quick service, and that's the attached Restaurantosaurus Lounge. This little lounge is in a more secluded section, giving you a chance to sip on some prehistoric drinks without all the hustle and bustle. But what you see on the menu isn't all you're going to find here. Do a little more digging and you may find something exciting. In the past, we've been able to order options like the Raspberry Fizz, made with Bacardi Raspberry, Sprite, Cranberry Juice, and a Strawberry Garnish. A simple drink, but still light and refreshing. We've also gotten the Tealosaurus here, not to be confused with other items that are actually listed on the menu, like the Teal Rex mocktail and the Tequilasaurus. The Tealosaurus is its own thing, made with bourbon, whiskey, blue curacao, of course, triple sec, lemon juice, and lemonade, and topped with two lemon circles to look like Mickey ears. How cute. On very rare occasions, secret menu items at restaurants mean items that you thought were discontinued because they're no longer on the menu, but they can actually still be made elsewhere. The Cretaceous Cooler is a good example of this phenomenon. Once upon a time, you could order a Cretaceous cooler made with coconut rum, blue curacao, Midori, and pineapple juice off the regular old Restaurantosaurus menu. And it was not pretty, kind of had this swampy yellow green look to it, but tasted good and may or may not have been radioactive. Verdict is still out. Now, even though this cooler is off the regular menu, you can still order it as a secret lounge item. And it actually looks better than ever now. You've got less of the swamp vibes, more of the blue curacao vibes now. You may even get a pineapple wedge on the side. By the way, here's a little bonus for you in this video. You know how I said that sometimes you can order things that aren't on the menu anymore? That is right now the case over at Roaring Fork in Disney's Wilderness Lodge. The chicken and waffles, which is absolutely incredible, not on the menu, but you can still get it. You just have to ask for it. All right, since we were already at Animal Kingdom, now is a good time to tell you about a different kind of secret menu offering that only some guests are allowed to order. Let's talk about annual pass holder exclusive secret menu items. Every so often, Disney restaurants will come up with a secret item only available for annual pass holders. And even if you're not a pass holder, you're still going to want to listen up because I'm still going to tell you how to learn about all the newest secret menu items as they appear. That way you don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything, pass holder or not. But for just a minute, let's talk pass holder exclusive. Pass holder exclusive secret items will only be available for guests who can show a cast member proof of their physical or digital annual pass, so like an underground club. In the past, we've seen pass holder exclusive secret menu items appear at Restaurantosaurus with their limited time scotch egg offering. That was during an annual pass holder appreciation weekend or something. And just recently, annual pass holders were able to order an off menu frozen lemonade with lavender at multiple Joffrey's locations around Epcot. Pass holder exclusive secret menu items do come and go, so it's hard for me to just talk about them and go, yeah, enjoy those during your next visit because they could definitely definitely be gone by the time you get there. Like La Celia used to have a pass holder only poutine every month that would change out every single month and only pass holders could order it, which was super strange. Now that's gone though, and I haven't seen a pass holder only poutine in a while. However, these kind of pass holder offerings do show up fairly often. And if you want to know about them before your trip, then definitely sign up for the DFB newsletter. I'm going to tell you about the newest ones we come across, but I won't only tell you about pass holder exclusive secrets. As soon as I catch a whiff of any other secret, secret menu items that anyone can order from anywhere in the parks. I have those to my newsletter too. You guys know I tell you everything in there. That way you can make sure your list of secret menu items is as updated as possible. I'm going to drop the newsletter link in the description below. It's totally free. Just sign up for it and you'll be on your way to free Disney news, tips, and recommendations on a regular basis. All right, back to more Animal Kingdom specific secrets. 
We are going to Yak and Yeti. We've been able to order full-on secret menu entrees from Yak and Yeti over there in Animal Kingdom. And you might be able to do the same sometime in the future. A couple years back, we learned about three different off-menu entrees. The Bang Bang Calamari, the Hibachi Steak and Shrimp, and the Lobster Tail Garlic Noodles with Shrimp and Scallops. Yum. Yeah, pretty hefty stuff, right? And we're all for trying everything on the Yak and Yeti menu, whether it's officially listed or not, because it's legitimately one of my favorite Disney World restaurants. Hey, Hands down, you know I go here on my birthday. So even if these offerings aren't available during your next visit, this place is still worth a visit for its Pan-Asian inspired options with detailed Nepalese style setting. It's beautiful in there. And don't forget about its quick service counterpart next door, Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe. No, you're not gonna be able to order these full on secret menu entrees here, but it's a really good place to grab cheaper, tasty eats on the go, stuff that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find in a theme park. The honey sesame chicken, the chicken fried rice, which is a great deal. And of course that mini mango pie, which you can get in your own grocery store usually. It's just by Kenny's Pies. Okay, though Yak and Yeti Local Foods doesn't directly take secret menu options from its table service counterpart, this is a perfect segue into our next point. We're gonna talk about those lounge items that steal from their table service neighbors. You don't always have to experience a full table service meal at Disney World restaurants in order to experience some of their most popular offerings. You know this, you follow this channel, you're subscribed, right? Okay, then you understand that sometimes this happens. Whenever a table service restaurant has a nearby lounge, you'll more than likely be able to order bites and apps or even full on entrees directly from the main restaurant's kitchen. I hope you've done this already. For example, you can get that famous Cobb salad from Hollywood Brown Derby and Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Hollywood Brown Derby lounge. You can get bacon and eggs or even a super cheesy stack burger from both the main Steakhouse 71 restaurant or its lounge over at Disney's Contemporary Resort. And you can get the lobster mac and cheese and the specialty Tiffin's bread service at Nomad Lounge in Animal Kingdom, though both items come directly from the Tiffin's kitchen. But those parallel menu items aren't necessarily a secret. When you sit down at these lounges, you'll see those options listed on the menu usually, though the Nomad Lounge mac and cheese used to be more under wraps back in the day. But at some lounges, you may be able to order even more food off the table service menu than your currently seeing. One of the more popular and super unique shakes at 50's Primetime Cafe in Hollywood Studios is the Sweet and Peanut Buttery PB&J Milkshake. But you may be able to order this one at the restaurant's attached Tune-In Lounge too. Tune-In Lounge keeps up with the 50's vibe and gives you a place to order drinks and watch some black and white show clips on that boxy antenna television set while sitting back on a retro orange couch. It's a nice escape from the park crowds and you won't be teased by the servers like you will over at 50's Primetime either, which may be more your style. Note though that this is also where people wait waiting to get into the restaurant will be hanging out. So go here at off times, go like real late at night or at like three o'clock PM when there aren't that many people waiting to eat. And of course, I gotta bring up one of my classic favorite tips. If you decide to grab drinks at Tambu Lounge on the second floor of Disney's Polynesian Village, then you'll also get the chance to order some off menu eats straight from the table service restaurant Ohana. And this was a super treat to uncover this particular secret menu. Most commonly, we've been able to order the Ohana noodles here, but we've also been able to request other side options too, like the bread pudding and the honey coriander chicken wings, even if they're not on the menu. Now, quick tip or more so encouragement for anyone who wants to try ordering these off menu items. It never hurts to ask, so ask away. Even if a cast member is unable to get these secret apps to you during the first time you visit, doesn't mean you shouldn't have asked in the first place. Sometimes these just run out or they're super limited for the day and the chefs need to make sure they've got enough supply for the main restaurant. So your server won't mind you asking, but that doesn't mean their answer isn't gonna be no. But on the flip opposite, side of things, if your server can't get you one of these items, it's important to keep cool because again, these items may be more elusive during your visit than they are at other times, maybe busier in the restaurant and your server might be busy. So it's definitely not their fault. It's just all about timing. Okay, guess what time it is. It's rapid fire secret menu items time. I hope I have like a fame song jingle for that. Rapid fire secret menu items time. We're going to resort specific cocktails. I'm about to show you seven, that's right, seven unique secret menu cocktails at the Disney World hotels. Now, just cause I'm listing seven doesn't mean there aren't more out there. There are a lot of Disney hotels and even more Disney hotel restaurants. These are just a handful of our favorite finds that you might be able to order on your upcoming visit. So let's begin the secrets spiel. We'll start Start things off with a classic. The Shadow Cocktail can be ordered at Bellevue Lounge in Disney's Boardwalk Inn. This drink is made with Chambord, Godiva chocolate liqueur, vanilla vodka, and heavy cream. So expect it to taste a lot more sweet and desserty than boozy. At the Barcelona Lounge in Disney's Coronado Springs Grand Asino Tower, you can order a melon margarita. But if you want a more traditional margarita, you can still find the Spanish margarita on the main menu as well. At the Gurgling Suitcase at Disney's Old Key West, you can get 
Brace yourself for this name, the Slappy Joe's Bourbon Berry Lemonade. Don't be fooled by the title of this one. It's mighty tasty and strong. It's made with bourbon, blackberry brandy, Adwala lemonade, and a splash of grenadine. If you find yourself over at Geyser Point Bar and Grill, which I hope you do because it's wonderful, it's over there at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, you may want to try picking up a blue wilderness cocktail made with Zodiac Black Cherry Vodka, pineapple juice, lemon, and blue curacao, of course, hence the Blue Wilderness name. Fun fact alert, you'll only be able to find the Zodiac Black Cherry vodka at geyser point so don't go snooping around for it anywhere else it is exclusive now let's finish things off here with a cocktail triple whammy at trader sam's grog grotto in disney's polynesian village resort there are three different off menu cocktails we've ordered here in the past including grunt's grog made with gin lemon juice and bitters emphasis on the gin there since it's the most powerful flavor of those heart of polynesia is made with caruba bacardi blue curacao creme of banana orange and pineapple yours might even be topped off with a cute tropical flower to give in more of those Moana tropical vibes, and Shipwrecked on D-Rock made with Maker's Mark, lemon juice, mint, and agave. This one's real refreshing unless you're not a fan of that powerful bourbon whiskey flavor from the Maker's Mark. If Trader Sam's Grog Grotto is all packed out for the rest of the night, you can order the same drinks at the attached outdoor tiki terrace. Now let's make this resort secrets point into a part two, because there's one restaurant in particular that needs a bit more explanation for its hidden options, and that's Steakhouse 71. So here's why Steakhouse 71's secret menu items could actually improve your experience here. At this table service restaurant within the Contemporary Resort, you got specific menus for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While some lunch and dinner items are exactly the same, the menu of Steakhouse Cuts is only available during dinner, meaning you could come here and completely miss out on the restaurant's namesake, but you don't have to. Turns out you can order a six ounce filet mignon for lunch, even if it's not featured on the menu, just ask your server. And in the same breath, although the cheese delicious stack burger is only available on the lunch menu and the lounge menu, you can choose to order it during dinner too. Again, all you gotta do is ask. The stack burger can also be made into an entree for plant-based eaters. Surprise, the Steakhouse 71 Impossible Stack Burger isn't listed on the menu, but if you ask for it, then you'll receive a plant-based patty with vegan cheese and vegan friendly fries if you'd like. And how about one more Steakhouse 71 secret for the road? Along with your Steakhouse cut, you can choose one of seven specialty sauces to accompany it, including options like wild mushroom, chimichurri, and the signature Steakhouse 71 sauce, which is wildly enough made with 20 different ingredients. Hey, Dr. Pepper can make their soda with 23 flavors. I guess Steakhouse 71 can shove 20 ingredients into their sauce too. But what if you can't decide on just one sauce? What if you wanna try them all? As you know, I am a huge sauce fan. So if you want all seven sauces, you can have all seven sauces. It's not listed as an option on the menu, but you can order a Steakhouse sauce flight for $6. Now, how about that secret? And now we're heading over to Epcot to see what the World Showcase has hiding up its sleeve. And first we're going to Cava Del Tequila. Let's talk about two different La Cava Del Tequila hidden menu offerings over in the Mexico Pavilion that are very different in style and consistent availability. We'll start with the secret drink that's available the most often here, and that's the Virgin Colada. Yep, that's right. If you want to experience this little tequila lounge, but you aren't big on the whole drinking around the world escapades, or you've got younger kids in your party who are tagging along, you can always opt for a fruity virgin cocktail for a nice refreshing treat out of the sun. And now for the more difficult drink to pin down here. Last year we learned about a little ice cream margarita called the Abuelita's Mud Slide. Now this specialty cocktail is made with ice cream, chocolate syrup, cinnamon, amaretto, Kahlua, and a rum-based chocolate coffee liqueur. So this is a very dessert heavy drink, but you probably already pieced that together for yourself from the name. The really fun part about this one is the presentation. Previously we were able to pick out a color for our cone cup, then the bartender makes the drink in front of you, topping off the concoction with one of those big smoke bubbles they love so much at La Cava. Sounds great, right? Here's the thing though, when available, this drink seems to be only there on Wednesdays. So not only is it not featured on the main menu, but there's only one day of the week you might actually order it. But if you time your visit just right, you might just be able to order the ice cream mark of your dreams. Now, La Cava often will have some secret menu items pop up and some specialty cocktails that are only there for a little while. So definitely check the menu and ask your server when you're there. Okay, some items will disappear for a really long time, only to rear their head as a secret menu option later on. This happens all the time. We're gonna talk about Typhoon Lagoon. If you're planning on hitting up Disney's Typhoon Lagoon water park during your visit, you may wanna be on the lookout for snacks kept on the DL. In the past, we've been able to order the Tilly Trio icy beverage from Let's Go Slurpin' during specialty water park events. The Tilly Trio is layered with strawberry daiquiri, pina colada, and Typhoon Tilly, which tastes like a frozen margarita. Each of these drinks is featured individually on the 
menu, but when you order a Tilly Trio, you can get all three layered together, whether you're at a specialty after hours event or not. Now, bonus advice, this drink stand tends to not have straws for your disposal, at least not when we previously visited. So it's not a bad idea to pack your own reusable straws, especially if you're someone who's pretty sensitive to ice continuously touching your front teeth. And that's just good advice for Disney World in general. Reusable straws or biodegradable straws, great things to bring with you. All right, there are those hidden food options around Disney World that may be gone, but they're never forgotten. So let's take a moment to remember a few of those great secret menu items. They may no longer be available, but they're still worthy of our respect and maybe they'll come back. So I want you to know about them. Back in the day over at Disney's All-Star Movies world premiere food court, you used to be able to request a secret menu from the Roxy counter, but the cast member working there wouldn't just hand you a regular old paper menu. They'd go get a silver briefcase like you used to see on Deal or No Deal or like, you know, James Bond. And inside that silver briefcase, there was a genuine vintage viewfinder. Now the viewfinder would be loaded with different secret menu item images that you could choose from. And these were heavy. You could pick from the cinnamon bun burger, the poutine or the bacon mac and cheese doc. And even if these weren't menu options, we'd order time and again. The unique way of ordering was so fun. And we wish something like this would come back again. However, if you've learned nothing else from today's video, at least remember this. Disney loves their secret menus. So seeing something like the viewfinder Finder menu reappear in the future is not out of the realm of possibility. One last reminder, remember that secret menu items are constantly changing. So if you heard something on this list and you're going, wow, can't wait to try this and impress all my friends, make sure you don't get your hopes up too high because that's the whole point of a secret menu item. You just don't know and they can take it away at any time. So make sure you got a backup plan in place just in case one of these sneaky specialty items is currently sold out or no longer available when you're there. And if one of these items is available, awesome. You've just ordered something truly unique in Disney World. Take that standard Mickey pretzels. Thanks for listening everyone and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Vlog and I'll see you real soon.